Okay, so for this activity, we're going to be doing the bleeding watercolor technique using tissue paper. So you're each going to get a 5x7 sheet of watercolor paper. And once you have that, you're going to be collecting tissue paper colors that you help to identify with your concept of home. So I've chosen warm colors here to go along with my, um, my personal idea of home. So I've got my pile of tissue paper, I got my water cup, and a watercolor paintbrush. So to do this, you're gonna start out with your paintbrush, you're gonna dip it in water, and you are first going to start wetting your page. Doing this, this is called a wet on wet technique. So you're wetting the page before you're going to be applying any pigment to your page. Spread that all over. And then once you have your page pretty much covered with water, you can always go back and add more, you're going to start laying your tissue paper on top. So I'm going to start with yellow with the warmer or the lighter colors. So something like that. Then once you've placed them how you want to place them, you're going to go back with your paintbrush and put more water on top. This is going to help really saturate your page. Okay, once you got that first layer done, you can go back with your next color and begin placing that in different random spots. You can tear the pieces a little bit smaller if you need to. You can layer them on top of one another. Once you're good with those placement, just go back over. And you're just going to continue this process until you layer all of your colors on top of one another to create this kind of nice watercolor mosaic type background. Okay, so after you've placed all of your tissue paper on top of your watercolor paper, you've saturated it, and then you've let it dry, you can start to pick up your tissue paper. So they're really easy to take off once you've dried the whole sheet. And you should get something like this for your background. So it's got nice gradients going on with different colors, has really nice um, pigment to it. And you can see in these white parts, that's kind of when the tissue paper crinkles and it gives this nice texture to it, makes it a little bit look like it's a little bit more worn. So it gives a really unique type texture to it rather than just putting watercolor on with your basic watercolors.